and welcome to this Hello World with Pack tutorial. The goal of this tutorial is to help get you familiar with the essential pack concepts needed to write, deploy, and run a smart contract. Learning these concepts will help you to create more complex smart contracts later in the series. Throughout this tutorial, I'll overview the Hello World code, describe each line in the smart contract, deploy the contract to the testnet, and call a function from the deployed contract. Many of these ideas will be revisited in more depth in later tutorials. This tutorial is meant to provide a quick overview of the process from start to finish, and I'll save some of the details for later in the series. To get started, navigate to the PACT online editor at pact.cadena.io. Once on the site, you can open the Hello World module. To do this, navigate to the module explorer on the tool panel and open the Hello World example. To get a better idea of what this code is doing, I'll take some time now to walk through each line of the code in a bit more detail. As you can see, the Hello World smart contract starts by defining and reading a key set. Key sets are a way to specify credentials for a user of the smart contract. The code you write within the smart contract can restrict access to users that own the key sets you define. You'll see this done in the Hello World module. This line uses packed built-in functions to define and read a key set named admin key set. This is the key set we'll require users to call the functions in the module we create. Looking closer, you'll notice the following error. No such key in message, admin key set. This error exists because you are reading a key set that you haven't created yet. To get rid of this error, you'll need to create a key set named admin key set using the panel on the right. You can do this by either selecting fix over here or by entering the name admin key set and selecting create. After creating this key set, the error should now be gone. Now that you have created, defined, and read the key set, it's time to build the module for your smart contract. Modules are essential in PACT. They contain all the logic needed to run your smart contract. The syntax used to create a module is shown here. This line defines a module named Hello World. It also gives the admin key set access to the code within this module. All of the code for the module will exist inside of the parentheses here and here. Notice that both the key set and function call are defined outside the module. The next step is to create the contract functions. Functions are defined within packed modules using the keyword defun. For this smart contract, you'll define a function named hello that takes a parameter called name. The function logic will exist between the parentheses shown here and here. One thing you may have noticed is the warning that appeared on line 21. This is telling you that it's unable to resolve the type of the variable name. You can fix this by declaring the type by adding colon string after the variable name. This is a best practice impact, but it's just a warning, so I'll remove this for now to keep things simpler. Feel free to keep this if you'd like. Within this function, you'll build a formatted line to write as an output. You can do this using the keyword format. Format allows you to manipulate strings and will help you specify the output of the function. This line outputs a string to the REPL that says hello, followed by the string input to the function parameter name. Notice that format uses postfix notation. The syntax for postfix notation has you first define where you expect a variable to be passed in, and later states which variable is being passed into this location. In this case, the value for name will be passed into the location of the curly braces shown here. At this point, the module for the smart contract is already done. While this module is pretty simple, it gives you a great starting point to begin building more complex modules later on. The final step of this smart contract is to get the output to say hello world. To do this, write a line below the module that calls the function hello and provide an input for name. This line calls the function and specifies the name as world. You can change this input to any name you'd like. Having written the smart contract, you're now ready to load it into the REPL. A REPL is an interactive computing environment. It stands for read, eval, print, and loop. This REPL exists within the online editor, allowing you to run packed code from within the browser. To load a contract into the REPL, select the Load into REPL button at the top of your editor. If everything is working correctly, you'll see the REPL open up on the right side of your screen with the Hello World message as shown here. If you can see this message, your Hello World smart contract is running from within the REPL. Loading into the REPL helps you test that your contract is working correctly but it doesn't deploy it to a blockchain. 
When you're ready, you'll need to complete a few more steps to deploy your Hello World smart contract. To deploy the contract, you'll need to update some of the code, create a key, set your deployment settings, and select deploy. These steps are quick once you get used to them, and it's mostly about knowing what to expect and where to look to complete each step. Let's go through each of these steps now. First, you need to update the module name. This name needs to be unique across all module names that exist on the blockchain. For example, my module name is Hello World Tutorial. Change yours to a unique name that's different than mine. This unique module name is a requirement caused by a feature in PACT that allows you to upgrade your smart contracts. As a quick note, you may come across this message when you attempt to deploy your contract. This error means that an existing module on the blockchain already has the name you chose. Update the module name and redeploy your contract to resolve the error. Next, you'll also need a unique key set name. This unique key set ensures that only users with the key set you define can gain access to the module. Delete the admin key set and create a new key set with any unique name you'd like. I'll change mine to a new key set named admin key set hello world. Since you created a new key set, you now need to update the code to match the name of the key set you made. This name appears a few times in the smart contract, so be careful to update each one. I'll update the key set name after define key set, after read key set, and after the module name. Next, you need to create a key for your key set. The purpose of the key set is to hold keys that you can use to sign and verify your identity. When loading the contract into the REPL, you are able to get away without having this key. But to deploy your contract, you'll need to make this now. You can create a key by selecting Enter Key Name, typing the key name, and clicking Generate. A simple convention for creating your key is to name it the same as the key set. I'll name mine Admin Key Hello World. After creating your key, you'll see a checkbox appear under the key set with the name of the key. Select this checkbox to associate this key with the key set. Having the ability to quickly make keys makes it easy to create simple wallets like this, but also allows you to create multi-sig wallets for your application if you'd like. You're now ready to deploy your smart contract. At the top of the screen, select Deploy. This will open a box that allows you to choose your deployment settings. Once in the deployment settings, select the network to deploy your contract to. I'll choose Test Chain 2. The gas price, gas limit, sender, and chain ID are a bit more advanced settings. For now, you can keep these at their current value. Next, go to Sign and select the checkbox to sign this deployment with the key you created. Finally, select Deploy Contract. If everything worked correctly, you should now see the string Hello World appear as a message. At this point, you have deployed your Hello World smart contract with PACT. Congratulations! A great feature of deploying to a blockchain is that anyone can now run your deployed code. You can check for yourself and run the function available on your Hello World smart contract. To do this, you'll first need to find the contract from the Module Explorer. Start by selecting the Module Explorer on the right panel. Once there, navigate to the Deployed Contract section and type the name of your contract. The name of your contract will be the same as the module you created. After it appears, select View to see the functions that are available. After selecting View, you should see the function named Hello as an available option. Click Call to open the screen that allows you to place your inputs into this function. To call the function, you'll need to provide a string to pass in as input. Remember to surround the string in quotes. Next, select the checkbox to sign this function call with the key. Finally, click Call. If everything worked out correctly, you should see the new function call appear as a message. Notice the difference between each of the ways that you called this function throughout the tutorial. The first time, you only loaded it into the REPL and hadn't deployed the contract. The second time, you called the function as you deployed the contract. This third time, you called the function on code that already existed on the blockchain. You can use this same idea to call functions on any contracts that have been deployed to the blockchain. Try for yourself to see if you can make function calls on other smart contracts. That wraps up this Hello World with PACT tutorial. Throughout the tutorial, you built, deployed, and ran functions on your Hello World smart contract with PACT. You're now prepared to play around and try anything you'd like. You can create and define new key sets, change the parameters, or add anything that comes to mind. If you get lost, 
you can always go back to the Module Explorer to reload the original code. You can also visit the documentation using the link in the top right of the screen. Here, you'll find more information about terminology, syntax, and other important ideas. If you're up for it, you can also load in different modules using the Explorer to see how a different program looks. That's it for this tutorial. Hopefully, you're now more familiar with PACT, the online development environment, and a few of the key ideas behind the PACT language. Throughout the series, I'll dive into a lot more detail on these concepts. Using these ideas, you'll learn to start building many more exciting and complex applications using PACT. So have fun, and when you're ready, I'll see you in the next tutorial.